Greetings, everyone. I am Lord Malvern, and welcome to my R Europa Universalis 4 multiplayer campaign with Artinex Games. Hello. And Torior. Hello. All right. So, I uh, my truce has expired with Lundberg. I'm still paying off a bunch of loans, but um, you know, in uh, I, I should. I'm pausing, by the way. Yeah, go ahead and pause, and uh. You know, if it weren't for the rebels, I would just go ahead and attack them right now because my combined forces with uh, Hamburg and Teutonic Order are strong enough to take them on. So, but uh, yeah, right now I'm just just waiting until I can get these these loans repaid. You don't have a coalition right now, right, Torior? Uh, no, I don't. I mean, a bunch of people hate me, but. Uh... <laughs> okay, is this cord already? Yes, it is. Some annexation, maybe. Oh, Poland is fighting Polotsk. I didn't notice that. A truce with Ansbach has expired. Do we really want to fight Ansbach? I don't think so. Right. <laughs> Oh, a bunch of truces have expired, so I might be getting a coalition soon. Or I might not. We'll see soon. Right. Mm. What are you guys doing? How's uh, your... I just converted to reformed. Did you get the message? Mm, I don't think so. I Maybe not. my special interest disabled. Uh, let's say best guess. Yeah, I didn't either. I didn't, uh... I didn't just convert to Reformed. I also did something else related to Reformed. I'm surprised you didn't get that message. Are you the Defender of the Faith? I am the Defender of the Faith, yeah. Oh, interesting. So if someone attacks me, you'll have to help. I won't have to, <laughs> but I'll get called in, yes. That's why I asked if you had a coalition. <laughs> oh, I, I, got, uh, I got it now. Um, I got the message now. Oh, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Bosnia, would you like to be a next? Yeah, almost all of my country is uh, converted to reformed by now. France has broke their alliance with us. What? What are you doing, this France? No, oh, aggressive expansion. Castile broke their alliance with me, but. Uh... I actually okay That's with weird. that because I will that will give me a bunch more relations with France looks like it's mainly army strength actually so you became too weak for them yes uh, that can change pretty quickly though check the leisure hmm. let's see here Great, I actually don't have very much aggressive expansion with Lundberg. <laughs> so they're probably not going to coalition me, hopefully. <laughs> All right. It'll be interesting to see if that coalition war, my coalition war, fires. What is your coalition? Uh, North German states. Yeah. I'm still allied to your rival? Oh, I'm still allied to Austria. That's right. All right. Oh. Mm -hmm. Probably not for very much longer. Austria is probably going to cancel their alliance with me. It is probable. Um, yep, Austria broke their alliance with me. 
Interesting. Really interesting. So feel free to attack them. I won't kick yeah. all I was considering it anyway. Let's see here. Who should I have next? Probably you. Do you have your cores left still? Yes, you do. That is an unusual situation. I'm fabricating a claim and improving relations with the same country at the same time. <laughs> I don't usually see that. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. What 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 did I do? Oh right. Uh, I couldn't send a diplomat. I panicked a bit. But nothing really happened. Mm -hmm. Poland, are you still at war? Mm, yes you are. Okay. My tolerance of heretics is currently at plus six. Or sorry, plus four. So it's over the cap. Ha! Lundberg is in Lundberg, Civil War. Civil War. Um, oh, poor Lundberg. Oh. Oh, poor baby. Hey, uh, maybe I can help you. How would you help them? Oh, by attacking like them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to end a civil war. Yeah. That'll give them a common en enemy to unite against. Mm, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, you see, I'm all about making peace. The peacemaker, right? Uh... Ah, yes. Yeah, I'm like the UN. I am sending peacekeepers in to, to take some of their unlawful territory and... Uh... And there's Tuscany declaring war against Austria. Last That's episode was I... my major war. This episode is going to be your guys' major wars. Let's see if I can oh, survive crap. that. Oh, I forgot to turn up army maintenance. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <damn> it. <laughs> that is a problem. I wonder, will they kill me? They have almost twice my army, uh, but I am defending in the mountains. Hmm. Ah, yes. The beauty of humanism. Religious unity, 125%. Despite all my uh, provinces not being the same religion. <laughs> it's still 125%. Uh, my religious unity is 96. Oh, they actually refuse to attack me because I have such a huge force in the mountains. No, they changed their mind. But France is attacking them from the side. They keep going back and forth. They try to attack me, and then they retreat. Yeah. The France. dance of death or something. France still has 20,000 troops in the end. Oh, and my vassals are sieging them from the side. That's good. <clears throat> oh, England started a colony. Those bastards. Well, I got the good province. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use my spare income to support these uh, pretender rebels. Where? In Lundberg. Oh. The yeah, is it mountains, yes. Oh, Venice is being attacked by the Ottomans. Interesting. Yeah, it's too bad you still have a truce with them. Mm, yeah. You going for the gold mine, uh, Torior? Yeah, probably. Good province. Oh, we lost a royal marriage with uh, Castile. Let's get that back quickly. So lost it, but I'm not going to be able to get it back. Let's help France kill Austrian army. Nice battle, 85 against 42,000. Quite a lot. Uh, 
What else are we fighting? Let's see. Oh, we no longer have a truce with England. Okay, you guys. Detach a siege and chase. Give chase. Mm. You know. is being wrecked by Protestant zealots. Are they Catholic? Oh no, they're reformed. Oh, I want to help them then. Your vassal. Yeah. Oh, I forgot you have this huge vassal over here. <laughs> right, you were even bigger than I thought. Yeah. Um... I'll protect against Austria. I'll take the mission to protect against Austria. If their army gets wiped by France, I'll automatically succeed. Welcome religious unity. I'm just carpet sieging Austria. Over here. Uh, yeah, I think we may see the end of Austria here. Well, maybe not end, but um, they will be weakened. They are already pretty weak, so now they're going to be basically a nothing. Mm -hmm. Alright, hang on, I got like four pop ups I got to deal with. Uh, okay, my explorer died. Um, okay, this is going to make... Ulster has uh, on 30... This list? Sorry? Hang on, I got this. I got the Bible translated, and I want to make sure that... Uh, see if France... How much I'll lose with France if I... I lose 10. All right, I can deal with that. Um, right, so... Okay, unpausing, sorry. Like five pop-ups all at once. France has a huge army, but I have no idea where. Sorry, not France, uh, Austria. Austria has like uh, 30,000 troops, but I don't know where they are. I'm sieging most of Austria and I can see a thing. Uh, yeah, no idea. Oh yeah, they are in France and moving uh, deeper into France. Oh yeah, I oh, see. That works for me. No, they're coming back. Well, I could help the French, but I think they can handle themselves. Castile, would you like to join our war? We're winning. No, minus 17. Poland? You did lose your alliance with Austria, right? Well, not really. The Ottomans are actually fabricating claims against me. So that's something I do uh, that. to look forward to. They do do that. Right, so um, I think Austria is not going to uh, have any chances of recovery. I'm, I'm wondering what I should take from them. We have, uh, oh, we have Imperial Integrity back, right? Uh, for the moment. <laughs> I might actually make them release someone just to maintain the bonus. Not Let's bad see. idea. We have, we have exactly 25, so yes. we lose one okay, more. Okay, who, whoever annexes, uh, annexes anyone, um, yeah. I have no plans to annex anyone in the near future. Is the Papal State a prince? If they are in uh, the Rome, Holy Roman Empire, they are. They, yes, are. they are. Okay, I take that back. I might annex the Papal State. <laughs> yeah, not, not real soon. Now well, my vassal doesn't have a claim on them. Oh, no, I will. I will probably release at least one nation from this war, so we might be safe. Oh, Austria is actually beating France's army. No, I, I misread that. Austria is not beating France's army. Don't tell me I'm going to lose this battle. Oh, that's why I'm losing this battle. I was a little cautious about attacking Austria, but it seems like it worked. Uh, it's working out all right. Let's see here. I got so much trade power in Venice that I'm getting uh, as much money from there as from my home node. Hmm.
<laughs> oh, I am at war. I should probably go um, combat focus and my religion. I just attacked a rebel army and forgot that I didn't have a military leader anymore. <laughs> I, still, I still stinks. won, but I lost like a ton of manpower. I'll actually have to disband some troops because I went over my force limit when I annexed uh, my vassal of Transylvania. That's a pity. I'm wondering if I should go for releasing Styria or just uh, taking the land for myself. Releasing Styria might be the better choice. Um, it will certainly be the better choice aggressive expansion-wise. I mean, I will not just release them, I will take the provinces and then release them. So it's probably the oh. same. Oh yeah, the same. But um, I'm considering feed them, feeding them later, that's the thing. Oh, do they have a bunch of other cores? Styria has cores on most of Austria. Like, almost everything. Only the four uh, or five no provinces, uh, northernmost provinces. Yeah, um, all the bottom half of Austria, including the gold mine, uh, is uh, is uh, Styrian cores. Mm -hmm. That's definitely an option. It'll save you a bunch of admin points. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I, I have a lot of admin points, but uh, what I am actually considering is uh... oh, royal marriage from Castile. Yes, of course. Did your old king die finally? Oh no, mine died. Uh, I didn't notice that. Mm, yeah, some inflation is now. Bad. Oh, I lost the battle. No, no, I lost the battle. Pause. We have to see what's going on. Oh, Austria is attacking from the north. Right, I'm pausing. Because I was a uh, carpet sieging them, but France is reinforcing me, so should be okay. Lord Malvin, we haven't heard from you in a while. What's going on? Well, uh. I, I am winning my war against uh, Lundberg, as expected. Um, I was just looking at the peace deal. I can't, uh, I can't full annex them, obviously, but I, um, not, not yet, anyway. But um, I am very close to being able to take all of their provinces back, except for the capital. Um, just, uh, just in terms of war score costs, which is pretty nice. I, I might. Do you I might. have cores on them. Yeah, I have cores on all of their their provinces, including their capital, Lundberg. So, so I and mean, that's that, that will only take like fifty five uh, war score, and that's um, right now I'm at thirty six percent. I I could take most of their provinces right now if I wanted to, and just don't want me uh, to take Hanover and uh, Braunschweig just yet, but I want those, so. I, I'm i perfectly content with the, letting them keep uh, Lundberg, even though it is a five base tax province, just uh, just because I, you know, I don't need Lundberg uh, for, for, uh, to form Germany. So, you know, if, uh, in the interest of uh, perhaps keeping keeping a little bit of uh, imperial integrity here. It might be in, in best interest to leave uh, Lundberg B once I've uh, taken back my, my cores. I see. Oh, you're still around, aren't you? Have you guys tried uh, the new role-playing game? Uh, that's uh, the big thing now. Um, Pillars of Eternity. Uh, I actually have three episodes of a Let's Play up on it already. Oh, I haven't checked that. Uh, how is it? Do you like it? I've been watching Marbazir's uh, Let's Play a little bit. I really like it. is playing on um, normal difficulty. I have to say, it's a lot harder on hard. <laughs> I watched well, it. It's, uh, I watched it's supposed to be one of the classics that uh, um, normal is hard, right? Right. Well, I just watched him play through, like I watched one of his recent episodes, um, and I've recorded a bunch more than I've posted so far, right? So um, I recorded him, I watched him go through uh, an area that I went through, and I'm like, wow, that's a lot easier. <laughs> uh, 
I have I have been avoiding spoilers though, so I've only been watching episodes that cover areas that I've already been through. But um, but I think I did things in like a really weird order. Um, I just kind of Possible. left town and did the first thing that I found, and I think it, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> I left town in the wrong direction. <laughs> I see. Well, um, yeah, I took back. Uh, uh, I, I, I just uh, declared peace. Oh. So. You yeah. declared peace. <laughs> I declare all your territory is now mine. <laughs> yeah, so it now... Is my, it's my declaration. Now now Lundberg is a, is a landlocked one province oh. miner. Um, Athenex, I have a, uh, an offer of collusion for you. Uh, I saw it. Because, that. yeah, England has rivaled me. Uh, I don't know about collusion, um, but I am fully intending on taking all of the rest of England <laughs> for myself, so uh, right. feel free to make use of that information what you will. Feel free to take Cornwall and release uh, Cornwall. Or not. Uh, oh, you mean release Wales? Um, I think it's a separate country, Cornwall. Oh um, yeah, it is. No, no, I'm not going to attack England. I don't have a navy. I mean, I do, but it's ten ships, five barges, and so twelve ships, seven trade ships, and two transport ones. So navy stuff is really not for me. I do have four heavies. I don't have a, a, a terrifically huge navy. I don't have a heavy. Um, I will probably invest into galleys at some point because uh, the Ottomans are turning out uh, a threat, and uh, the galleys are good against them. But I would have to have like fifty galleys to to rival them in that field. I'm the, uh, I'm the strongest trade power in the English Channel. That feels pretty good. Wow, Let's France see. does not like me anymore, huh? Oh, uh, something interesting. Uh, the Ottomans have taken Venezia. Oh, the Ottomans took Venice, huh? The, uh, the Ottomans annexed Venice. Hmm. That's not good. All of it. Well, for me it's good. I hated them. Hmm. And I am going to fight the Ottomans anyway, so... Works out. Oh, reformed refugees, what is that? Yeah, let, let them come. Uh, That's... Uh, was that was the timer. That was the timer, I was just about to say that. That was the timer. Are you guys in a good spot? Uh, yeah. Mm, definitely. Okay. Uh, uh, was it me that ended Yeah, it, it was you. Yes. Alright. Well, uh, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to click on the like buttons. It does help out the channel. Of course, please subscribe for future updates, and be sure to check out uh, Arthanex Games and Toriyor's channels for their perspectives. And as always, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.